All right, for everyone that loves VBA, VBA is the most simplest to use. If you're trying to use ChatGPT uh, to make VBA code and it always fails, let me show you why. And we're gonna actually create code in GBT and we're gonna put it against a secret agent. So yeah, let's see uh, who can stand up to the test in this competition. So I have ChatGPT over here and I'm gonna do some, you know, I'm gonna do four tests. Uh, and we're going to have four rounds. So the first round is we're going to try draw four circles. So we're going to say, give me microstation VBA code. Ah, my spelling. VBA code to draw four circles. And we're just going to take that. So over here we have this code. We're just going to copy this and we're going to test this out. So save. Ooh, so... Yes, it's lost the first round. Let's test it out with the secret agent. So we'll go over here to the BIM code generator uh, and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna say, uh, draw four circles. And that's it, that's all you have to type. So over here we have this code, very simple, very basic. We're just gonna take this one over here. And actually, do you, quite, do you guys actually notice the amount of lines this has? You know, very short, very simple. I'm gonna put it in and let's see if it stands up to the test let's see if it's gonna fail is it gonna pass let's see let's see um three two one go so it works um let me just show you over here we have four circles yes this is a circle trust me let's see so instead of four circles let's do five triangles okay i would i would suggest do a for loop but you know so we're gonna run this and obviously i'm just gonna I delete these nice four circles. Run this. Okay. I'm gonna click run. Ooh, again it failed. Let's go to the BIM generator, sir. I'm gonna ask for five drawings. So give me five triangles. So we have this code over here. Let's test it out. Let's uh, yep, save. Three, two, one, go, run. Yep, there you go. No errors. Nice. So we have five triangles. Now let's test the third one. Let us do the same thing. So let's go back to ChatGPT and let's say, give me five standard texts on a drawing. Give, let me, just, let me just even be specific. Give me the VBA code. So, because sometimes I can forget. You have memory loss sometimes. Let's see if it looks promising. Let's see if ChatGPT can do this. Let's see if ChatGPT is brave. All right. Three, two, one, go. And then again, it failed. Um, obviously, if you're doing anything like Python, it should work well, but if you're doing something like VBA, you know, there's not that much documentation. And obviously if we know AI pulls its stuff from online sources. Um, so this is why this is happening. So don't be shocked. So we're gonna do the same thing. Um, and we're gonna test BIM code. And we're gonna show you why it works later on. So yeah, over here we have the text. Let us test it out. Um, let us see. So we have the code over here. Let me just, let me just paste this. Boom. So save. Let us test the code. Use it from, whoa, it worked. All right, let us see how it goes. So if I click over here, we have our standards. There you go. Uh, standard one, standard two, standard three, standard four, standard five, all done. Uh, it passed the third test. Now for the final one, the most interesting one. So, and actually I didn't reveal this, and the fact that you're here in the end, we're actually gonna show you a secret. So what if we had a plugin inside MicroStation and you could give the prompt and inside MicroStation, you can give, you can put the uh, prompt and you would get the output back. Would it be nice? Would it be perfect? Over here, right? We have our little code generator. So we have a code generator here and we're just gonna give the instruction, create, a chessboard and we're gonna collect our uh, code type so later on down the line we might add autocad um but we're just gonna test for microstation vba right now so three two one so over here we have the code let us test three two one go so yeah we have our chessboard what do you guys think now, I know this does not look like a chessboard, but let me show you why it's a chessboard. So if I click over here and go over to 
There you go. So, give you some context. Like we said in the beginning, GBT only pulls information on on like online, right? In the docs. If there's not in any correct information inside, it's gonna give you the wrong output. So if you give it the wrong input, it'll always give you the wrong code. Um, and generally, you know, ChatGPT is for more of general stuff like Python or essays or stuff. But if you want specific to MicroStation, you know, VBA, uh, I can even any anything else, AutoCAD VBA. You're gonna have to look for a place which has the accurate code, and that's how we were able to make this. We had, you know, snippets that we've been testing, you know, throughout time and time again. Uh, we have our own database, we have our own code, we have everything over there, and you can create whatever code you want, how you want it, how you like it, whatever you want, at the best speed. And also, I just showed you the the uh, plugin over here, so that means you don't need to, you know go to your IDE and do things manually again. You can just have everything over here. And yeah, so yeah, that's basically it. We have a chessboard and sooner or later, we might be, you know, we might be adding 3D, who knows? Now, if you're interested, you know, testing it out, playing around with the code uh, and the AI, you know, go to this website, smartbimco.com, click start free, and then enter your email. Uh, you get beta access and you'll be able to test tons of features. And also, by the way, you'll be able uh, to join a group in which You'll be giving us insights, helping us out so you can make this epic. Anyways, bye.